Hey everybody, welcome back. Today what you see inside here is what they say the world's smallest reusable cutlery set. And I think it would be a really neat addition for your portable camping gear. So today, we're going to check them out. Alright, so what can really be said about cutlery? I mean, it's really a simple thing. I saw this, I thought it was kind of cool, I'll give you my reasoning on it in a bit, but um, I thought it was kind of cool, there's really not much you can do about it. I mean, you know, there's so many ways to do cutlery, I mean, heck, you got a knife with you all the time if you're in the wilderness, <laughs> you know, there's titanium sporks, MRE spoons, you know, all fairly lightweight, you can even make your own like I did with these, I have my own little homemade fork that, believe it or not, as crude as it looks, actually works. I made a spoon here a while back. So all in all, you can do this stuff easier. However, this has some bonus points to it that I really, really like. And one of them is the length of the utensils. Now we'll get into that in a sec, but I'm going to open these up and show you how to put them together. These are made of high quality, food grade stainless steel, and they do have some weight to them. You know, that's the spoon right there, and that's probably the one we're going to use the most today. I'm going to take out the pieces here and show you. There's your fork. There's your knife. And it is a serrated knife, and these are the ends. You notice the tapered ends on them. So pretty much it works like this. You screw in one side here. And they do screw on very simply. The reason I was talking about the length with these, and I'm going to demo it today when we do our little cooking demo, is the fact that they're fairly long. So you have a nice long reach if you're using freeze-dried food, you know, in a bag. And this is what we're going to be cooking today. You can reach down in there and get to everything. Another neat thing about these is if you do happen to use chopsticks, you just take the heads off them and you have two chopsticks. I think that's why they have the tapered ends. But they are kind of neat. They are kind of neat little system. We're going to be trying out the uh, fork and the spoons in today's video. Um, I don't really have anything to cut with the knife. And as you can tell, it's just a serrated knife. And I'd probably leave it just as that. I'll give you a quick look at it. It's just a serrated knife on one side, not overly sharp. It could tear apart, you know, meat if you're cutting through it or something like that. Um, all in all, it's kind of cool. Maybe I'd do without it and just take these two and stick them in that. What I like about it, too, is you've got this little container. The container is rubber-lined so that there's absolutely no bouncing around or anything like that, you see? You've got rubber lining in there so it won't jingle around in there in your backpack. Um, they are a little bit heavier than I expected, but not bad. We will weigh it once we're done, once I take it apart at the end. Um, I am going to cook up some, like I said, some Mountain House food here quickly, just to try out the spoon and fork. Um, let me give you a look at everything once it's assembled. There you go. So it's a pretty neat kit. Now, where would I use this? Well, if I'm leaving my house and never coming back again, maybe I'd take it with me, you know? If I have a travel kit where I might be eating, you know, somewhere, um, my travel kit doubles as a cool stuff to stick in there if I'm staying in a hotel overnight and want to eat in my room <laughs> type thing. Um, you know, definitely I take that with me. If, especially with the virus lately, if you don't want to use other silverware from a restaurant, you know, you're not too sure of its origin and you want to use your own, hey, can't beat that. That's like a full set right there, all nice and ready to go. And the fact that it folds up into one of these little tins is pretty awesome. Price on them. They're about 20 bucks. They're not cheap. Um, there are cheaper ones on Amazon and what I'll do is I'll put this link down below and when you go all the way to the bottom of the page, you might see some cheaper ones down there. Feel free to order those. You don't have to order what I show you. If you find something better in my Amazon affiliate store, hey, by all means order it if it's cheaper and it suits your needs better. So what we're going to do is yeah, yeah, I get to use my new stove. We're going to heat up some water for this guy, and I'm going to try this out, and we're going to stick it in there and see how low it goes, and how well, my concern is, will they come loose? Now, I don't feel like they're going to come loose. They don't feel like it. You know, while you're eating, are they going to start un unscrewing? But uh, we'll try it out, see how well the length works on them, because I think the length is a real plus on these, as well as how they hold up. So, let me get some water boiling here, and uh, we'll put it together. All right, so I got some water on the new stove. I had to try out that new stove. I had to come up with a reason today to try it, because I really like it. And uh, I got it my Luxada Titanium 300, uh, what is it, two, I forget, a 700-something milliliter there, 750 milliliter 
hot. And once that heats up, once we get a boil, which is almost ready, that really boiled it very, very quickly. I'm going to put it in here, and then we're going to test out how these work as far as depth inside. They look like they're going to be really good. And see how they hold up when actually eating with them. All right, all finished. That is hot. How's that? That's not bad. Okay. So let's pour it in here. There we go. Stick it on there for now. Now, once I ripped off that top on these, I remembered that the new bags aren't as deep as the old ones. But we'll still try it out and see how we like it and how effective it is. So far, it seems to be doing its job. I mean, really, if you look at this, with all that distance there, and I'm going to use this as an example, and you stick this in here, you still have a little bit more length, but not much. It's because the bag's a lot lower now. So, let's crush this up here, make sure it's all mixed up good. So far, the head isn't separating, nothing's coming loose on it. Okay, and there we go. So, I'm going to give it a few minutes here to uh, warm up, then we'll eat with it, we'll wrap it up, and I'll tell you what I think about it. All right, so it sat for about 10 minutes. I got started doing other stuff and forgot about it. Looks like it's ready. And I've been stirring it with this, as you can tell. So far, nothing's come loose. They're easy to hold. No real problems there. I mean, there's not much you can do when it comes to silverware as far as reviews, but as you can tell, they work pretty well. Yeah. Try out the fork a little. See if we can... I didn't tighten it up. There we go. See if we can stab some stuff on it. There you go. Yeah, I mean, they're silverware. They do work. They don't come loose. They are very convenient. Um, to take care of these now, I'm going to wash them off. I'll show you how they go back into the kit, and uh, we'll wrap up the video. All right, so a little running water. They clean up easy. They're stainless steel, of course. So now I take these apart. I'm just going to unscrew them. Now, the way I got it in the bag, in the box, these three with the kind of tapered ends go on the end there. So we do it like this. That there. And actually, I'll take all three of them off like that. We can kind of do it this way, one in the opposite way. There we go. Get in there. There we go. And that way there. Actually, it looks like they're all supposed to go that way. That's where my mistake was. They're all supposed to go that way. This is the smaller part there. You couldn't see it in the camera, sorry. So they'll all be facing that way. You'll take the middle pieces, okay, and they will go in next like that. So, I do like that the inside of this can is rubberized. I think I mentioned that before, but it just makes it so it won't be bouncing around making noise in your kit. And we'll weigh this once it's all done. So, I'm going to take the knife because it's flat. Easiest to put in there. Put the spoon in, upside down, the fork like that. There you go. All closed, all ready to go. So, let me get a scale out and weigh it real quick. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, this isn't the lightest system you'll ever have, but let's zero it. Okay. 6.88 ounces. So it's not super light. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. These, this is a really bad scale for camera work because it doesn't face, face very well. It faces up towards me, but not towards you guys. So 6.8 ounces. You know, I mean, hey, if you're just going and you want to go ultra light, can always do that, which is less than one ounce. It's 7.1 ounces. If you're going and you want a full complement of silverware, maybe you're just going out for fun. You don't always have to be bugging out. Sometimes you can just be camping and having fun, practicing your skills. A kit like that is pretty cool. If you want to keep this in your car kit, and maybe I'm never coming home type kit where you actually want some real silverware, awesome idea right there. So that is the world's smallest cutlery set, according to their information. It is a portable camping utensil set. Runs about 20 bucks, and like I said, if you go check this out on my, on my link that I'll put down below, and you see one that's cheaper, by all means, buy one that's cheaper. I saw one there that was like 11 bucks, and it had um, two chopsticks, you know, the chopsticks, and a fork and spoon, and not a knife. So if you see something that fits your needs better, by all means, get it. Don't You don't have to buy what I'm showing you. I just thought it was kind of neat, kind of a handy little thing. I like it for a small day pack, maybe a, uh, a get-home bag. Maybe something you keep in your office emergency kit that's dual use. 
You can use it to eat your lunches every day, but if you have to bug out, you at least have a fork and spoon and a knife with you. So definitely a cool little addition to your kit. Um, it's not lightweight by any means, but it's kind of a fun thing, and it's kind of a handy little thing to have. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the links down below. We have our Food for Patriots link, which is preparewithiridium.com. That's 25-year shelf life food. we got a sale right now. It's $100 off a four-week kit, so check it out. Don't forget to check our Thrive Life link as well down below there. You can check that out. You don't need to join anything. You can just order one or two items, see if you like Thrive. If you do, then you can join, then you can become a delivery customer, whatever. You can even become a consultant. But if you just want to buy a little bit at a time, by all means, check them out. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.